So if I have a credit card and I have a line of credit, and then I have a checking account, so three things, right? You got your checking account where money comes in. Let me write it. We got a checking account. We have a line of credit and we have a credit card. When you make money, like everyone else does, it gets deposited into a checking account, right? We understand that. Cool. She's asking about using credit cards and line of credit simultaneously. So we know that there are bills that can and cannot be paid with a credit card. And what I mean by cannot means like you have to go an extra step, such as taking a cash advance, a balance transfer, where that incurs extra fees. So that's where I say can't. It can be done, but it's going to cost you money. And when we're doing velocity banking, we're trying to minimize our cost of borrowing money. In fact, we're trying to make money in the process by saving money, increasing cash flow, and saving money on interest, okay? So what you would do for my friend Brogata, pretty cool name, is you have your bills that can be paid, right? Bills, you're gonna pay your bills that can be paid with a credit card first with the credit card. And then when this money comes in, you should have already made a chunk from the line of credit to pay off debt, okay? And I think she told us how much she got, let me see. So you got a $35,000 P-lock. You got a $35,000 P-lock, so before you start using your credit cards and whatnot, you should be making a chunk towards a certain debt to increase cash flow, right? So we, we did that. Let's say you did that already. And then the next step is you dump all your income back into that line of credit to satisfy the payment and to also prevent any interest getting charged to your money that you made. So you can keep 100% of that by simply shifting it the same day you make the chunk. That's the best way to do it, okay? And then now, to keep most of this money in the line of credit for a longer period of time, you're using the credit card to pay bills that can be paid with a credit card, and you might get some, uh, you know, cash back rewards, statement credit points, miles, whatever, right? So there's a little extra bonus there. Now, what you were getting into was setting up the automatic payment. So instead of paying the minimum payment on this credit card, you should be paying the statement balance each and every month in full on its due date, okay? So on the due date of that credit card, you should pay the statement balance in full from here, all right? Now, there are some credit lines, personal line of credits, HELOCs, that do not come with a card, like a credit card. So, you would take the money back out of the line of credit to the checking account, so you'll make a transfer back to your checking account on the day that that credit card is due or the day before just to be safe and then make your payment to the credit card. You could set up an automatic payment to come out of the checking account or the statement balance. So you're not making, so what it, the way you wrote it, maybe you just wrote it wrong, but it sounded like you were saying, take the, take a uh, transfer from the credit card and pay this. No, we're not doing that. So we're using the line of credit to pay back the credit card. Or if you cannot, if they do not provide you with a debit card, credit card, to use like a checking account, literally with the line of credit, then you have your normal checking account where money comes in, and then you set up the automatic payment for the statement balance. This way you prevent ever having to get charged interest on money that you were already going to spend anyways, right? So we don't wanna incur any extra fees there.
Okay.